talk about Samson. I know there's no P in there. I know this. I say Samson, though. My mama said Samson. Her mama said Samson. So we always say Samson, but it's Samson. I saw that written the other day. I was like, have, have I just been mispronouncing this my whole life and no one's corrected me? I guess not. But I've corrected myself now. Thanks be to God. It's fun times. Samson is this guy in the book of Judges. <sighs> judges. We have all these judges. Because before kings came about, like King Saul, you had these judges, people that would lead the children of Israel. You had Moses, then you had Joshua. And now you have these judges that will lead the children of Israel. And you get this awesome dude in there called Samson. And we all know the story. Samson is this strong guy who has long flowing locks. And he, he kills a lion and like eats honey from it, right? The carcass is there with bees everywhere. And he eats the honey. He's like eating the honeycomb, walking around. He kills like a thousand dudes with a donkey jawbone. But, you know, then, then he, he, he starts dating a gal that's a little questionable, right? Delilah. That's a fun name, though, Delilah. I like that. I, if I have another daughter, which I don't, I have five boys and one girl. I don't know if God will gift us another daughter, but if he does, we're going to name her Delilah Savannah. That'd be just a perfect Southern name. So he's with Delilah, and Delilah is, you know, influenced by the, the Philistines that they want to know how to beat this guy because he keeps beating up on them. And eventually they figure it out. You know, you cut the hair and all that stuff and they take him captive. And this is the thing. Samson is what's called a figure or a foreshadow of the Christ. There's stuff in Samson's life that can teach us what Jesus is going to do for us. So remember, Samson is in like this dungeon and they bring him up to entertain them because he's blind now. They, you know, blinded him and he's saying, may I take more Philistines in my death? than I did in my life. So he puts his hands on the pillars and he smashes them to bits and the whole wall comes tumbling down and kills all these Philistines. Oh, why is that Jesus? That makes no sense. Does Jesus want to kill people? No, Jesus doesn't want to kill people. He's not a bad guy. But Jesus does defeat the enemy of God's people. He defeats sin, death, world, and the power of the devil. He defeats them, how? By his death. He defeats them when on the cross he stood in your stead, suffered the full wrath of the Father, crushed the head of the serpent, closed up hell's doors, and burst forth from the spiced tomb three days later, overcoming all of it for you. So when you read Samson in the book of Judges, think, what is this teaching me about Christ? How is this showing me what Christ did for me in his death? What did he do? He rescued you. Thanks be to God for that. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.